If you're like me, peas are the first thing you plant in spring. But knowing when to plant them, well, that's not really easy. Peas thrive in temps from 65 to 70 degrees. But if you plant your peas too early, you might have too much cold weather and they never even emerge. Or maybe the weather turns really wet. You get a lot of rain and then they just rot in the ground. Or maybe you get them in too late and the weather gets hot quicker and you just don't get a good pea harvest. So how do you know the right date? Some people plant by tradition, some people by superstition, and some a little bit more scientific. To me, it's still a crapshoot. You gotta have luck on your side. Now, those especially in the more temperate zones plant on St. Patty's Day. But for me, on St. Patrick's Day, I could still have snow on my beds. So that doesn't usually work for me. But I do sometimes pick a more traditional date, and that is Good Friday. However, Good Friday, depending on the year, can vary between 19 days in March to April. So weather conditions can be a lot different and just sticking to planning on Good Friday isn't always a good idea. Some people plant by the lunar cycle and zodiac signs. I don't really understand that and to me it's a little bit too much like hocus pocus so it's not something I do. Others plant by nature signs such as when the forsythias bloom it's time to plant your peas. And that's a good idea. I kind of follow that, except my husband made a mistake and mowed down our forsythia bush, and I don't know now when the forsythia would bloom. But I know the daffodils are starting to bloom, so then it's time to also get the kale and cabbage and those other cold winter veggies in the ground. Some people like to use the last average frost date as a guide. Here in Michigan, that is May 15th, but and sometimes Maybe we haven't had a frost since May 1st, or sometimes we get one June 1st. So that's just an average and just a guide. Now your soil temperature matters. If you look at the gardening manuals, they say don't plant before your soil temperature is 40 degrees. However, I looked at the back of the peas I'm planting and all three varieties say plant when the soil temperature is 50 degrees. So check your seed packet before you determine when to plant. Now I like to use this soil temp guide. It works just great. Just want to calibrate it in freezing water for before you use it the first time. But let's see what our soil temp is now. So I'm just according to the soil temp it's just a little over 50 degrees. So perfect planting time. So today is my day. It's the day I'm planting. And you know what day is? It's Easter and I'm having a big family dinner. At least 13 people are coming over. So not the best day to plant, but I had the grandkids the last two days and just wasn't able to do it. So how did I pick today? Well, like I said, I very often use Good Friday as a guide, but I couldn't because of the grandkids and we were gone a lot. But also, if I would have planted um, by the lunar cycle, as you can see here, March 23rd to April 5th, I sure have missed that. We're now under a wanting gibbous <laughs> cycle. However, I'm fine by planting four to six weeks before our frost date. As you can see, the Farmer's Almanac website is great to use if you want to see when is your last frost date or if you want to plant by a lunar cycle. You just go in here, put in your zip code, and then go to the site and it will tell you for where you live, what's the lunar cycle, and when should you be planting by frost date. Now, we had snow on the ground 10 days ago, and then we got just torrential, torrential rain, and it was like monsoon weather. And if I would have planted before, I think my peas would have rotted in the ground. So that's how I picked today. Not completely scientific, not completely superstitious, not completely traditional. And let's hope it's the right date. 
Now let's get planting. I try to rotate where I plant my seeds so I never plant the same vegetable in the same area over a three year period. I grow these canoe shell peas without support and use the square gardening method of nine per square foot. So I'm going to plant the canoe peas and I'm using this seeding square which works out pretty well if you're into square foot gardening. So we want nine per square feet so we're using the yellow ones. Just putting that in. So you can get nine peas to a square foot. Makes figuring out your planting pretty darn easy. And then it's got little gauges on here. So you just want it about an inch deep. Now I like planting my sugar peas on a trellis and this trellis works great. You plant them about two inches apart all the way across and growing your sugar peas or any peas up a trellis is really great because number one easier to pick your peas but also it allows more air in so they're more disease free and they say the harvest is more. Nothing beat sugar peas eaten right off the vine when you're working in the garden. So good. And my garlic that I planted last fall is all coming up really nice. I just got to do some weeding around it. If everything goes well, in a week plus time, I should start to see the little peas emerging from the soil. And hopefully we have an abundant harvest in June. Now, my family loves me to make, well, it's a recipe I made up myself because I don't really like peas. To me, they're very mushy. I just don't like the consistency. But I make these fried peas and they have more of a crispy outer shell and they taste of garlic and they're really great. But I have learned that they're only good if I use fresh peas from the garden. So I hope we have a really abundant harvest. And I hope you do too. Love to know. How do you decide when to plant your peas? Do you have any other pea planting advice? And if you're interested in trying my fried pea recipe, watch this video. Mm -hmm.